Hi, I'm Priya and I'm a nursery teacher and every week I'm reading stories to help children get through this very strange and difficult time that we're going through. So today's story is The Gruffalo. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, Fox. But no, I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where, where are you meeting him? Here. By these rocks and his favorite food is roasted fox. <gasps> ro 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 roasted fox? I'm off, fox said. G goodbye little mouse and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. What sound does an owl make? Maybe you can tell your mummies and daddies what sound an owl makes. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl. But no, I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. Tweet doo! What's a gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this stream. And his favourite food is owl ice cream. Uh, owl ice cream? Toot toot! Goodbye, little mouse! And away Owl flew. Silly old Owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Can you tell your mummies and daddies what sound a snake makes? And maybe you can slither around like a snake on the floor. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, why didn't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this lake. And his favourite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffle? Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned up toes as a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help! Oh no, it's a Gruffalo! My favourite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see everyone is afraid of me. All right said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. 
They walked some more till the gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the gruffalo. Oh dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse. I told you so. I stoned them, said the gruffalo. They walked some more till the gruffalo said, I hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, gruffalo, said the mouse. You see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is beginning to rumble. My favourite food is Gruffalo Crumble. G -g Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was good. And that's the end. So I really hope you enjoyed that story. Um, just before I end the video, I would like to say thank you to my niece for being, once again, an amazing camera woman. I'd like to say hello to my nursery class, who genuinely love this story, which is why I chose to read it this week. Um, and I hope you're all staying safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!